Good morning, good morning. We're gonna tap into the karmic masculine energy. And let's see what's going on with the karmic masculines and why they're in your energy. Let's tap in. What do we need to know today about these karmic masculines? What's going on with these karmic masculines? What are they wanting? Why are they in the energy? Okay, worthiness in reverse. Because you've healed. Remember in the beginning, you were made to feel unworthy? These karmic masculines now are feeling the same energy. They're feeling a resistance. They're feeling the resistance. Okay. What else about these karmic masculines? What are they projecting? Okay. The energy of lust. Okay. That's what they're sending you in the dream space. What else? Their masks are falling off. They're falling off in your energy. What else about these karmic masculines? What does the divine collective need to know? What does the divine collective need to know about these karmic ma masculines? They don't want you to shine. They cannot stand the desire that you have. Why? Because you have had a radical rebirth. They are feeling like they self-sabotaged. Okay? Because we've got the masks that have come off. These karmic masculines, remember we've been talking about that snake energy. Okay? They see that you feel this way towards them. I'm just giving the message. What else about these karmic masculines? Yep. They are ungrounded at this time. What else? Why is this too? Because nothing that they're doing is grounding in the physical. But that secret lust, like I said about the dream space, they're coming to you in cloaked energy, hence the mask. I said before the tactics, okay? What else about these karmic masculines? They are feeling grief because you will not surrender. These people have not gone through an awakening. They have not changed. But you have because you cut the cords. So I'm getting an energy of them trying to place more cords on you. Yeah, betrayal. Some of these individuals, these karmic masculines, have caused you many, many betrayals. Okay? And as I said, judgment was called on these individuals with that number 20. What else? Do we need to know about the karmic masculines? Yep. They're going through a period of storms, okay? And this is why they are coming back to you. A lot of these karmic masculines want you to be the one to fix their situations. Now, after they pretty much sabotaged yours they say hey they're loving they're light they're healing let me come back in once again and when I do I'm gonna bring some storms with me I, I plan on betraying them again I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna leave them in a space of grief what else this is what's in their intentions the karmic masculines. What else do we need to know about these karmic masculines? Listen to your intuition. What else do we need to know when it comes to these karmic masculines? What else do we need to know when it comes to these karmic masculines? This morning. <laughs> Storms keeps coming out. Right? What else? 
Number 13 might be significant. Number 11 might be significant. Number 9 might be significant. Yeah. At this point in time, these karmic masculines are not feeling safe in the energy. Whatever that means. They know what they have done with their power, how they have misused and abused it, and are afraid of, you know, that reversal energy, because you are powerful. Again, this sounds like a lot of, like, sympathy magic, love spells. They don't want to, they're trying to escape the karma of what they did. Only you know what the karmic masculine and your energy has done. You take this message as it resonates. You guys are in celestial alignment. They are not. And that's the truth. I don't know if you heard that ding. They are not receiving this level up off of you. I, I keep getting the energy of clout chasers. Like a lot of these people want to get close to you. Because they're lacking something. And you have it. What else? Yeah. They're lacking creativity. They're lacking ways in which to manipulate. And they want you to surrender. They want you to let your guard down. And let them in. And let them steal your sacral energy. You understand? You're getting sex magic here. Seeing the ace of wands in reverse. Okay, what else? Are these karmic masculines zooming in the energy? Not awakening. Not seeing what's happening. And again, they are enraged. So if you're feeling an energy of getting like upset, different like transmute that energy, you know, it's projection. Number 23, number five, they're still in the energy, sending you love spells, sending you sex magic, but still trying to send you the energy of rage so that you run away different people in your reality. It's your season of manifestation. They don't want that. They don't approve and or appreciate how you use your magic to manifest. But miracles are still coming in, coming in for you. Give me some more about these karmic masculines. It's crazy how all these cards come up in reverse, huh? Yeah, give me something else about these karmic masculines. Give me one more. Most high when it comes to these karmic masculines today. One more. Yep. One more for these karmic masculines. One more for these. Okay, thank you. Harvest. Okay. Pretty much all these projections, they're going to have a harvest. A big harvest with this energy as it goes back to them. And this is, again, like I said, what they were afraid of. They were afraid of us speaking up. Calling out the things that they are doing. Calling it out for what it is. Okay? They see that we are no longer in an energy of scarcity. Okay? Anything else before I put these cards down? You guys are getting good juju while they receive the opposite. Because you used your creativity wisely. They're trying to get close to you. They're trying to get close to you, okay? These are the secrets being revealed. Listen to your intuition, okay? That's what I got for that deck. Now let's go to the tarot real quick. Let's see what that holds. What does the tarot want to say about this energy? Yeah. No more juggling this. They want you to feel off balance. They want you to be weakened, okay? Your spiritual strength to be weakened. They pretty much want you to know who, they don't want you to know who it is that's coming in your energy. It is a karmic masculine, okay? Like I said, it's the, it's the message. That are emotionally manipulating you, okay? By way of your emotions. So trying to soften you up. You know who these people are. Trying to project things onto you. Because they see you taking leaps of faith and don't want you to do so. Okay. They don't want you to completely free yourselves from them. This makes them unhappy. 
What else about these karmic masculines and why they're in the energy? Okay. Give me a couple cards. Give me a couple cards for these karmic masculines and what they're doing in the energy. What is their intention? To stop you from moving forward. A lot of them are using the help of other people as well, okay? To go against you. Again, a karmic masculine that is watching you, gossiping about you, and then behind the scenes doing magic on you, okay? Wheel of Fortune in reverse because it's all being returned to sender. Wow. You know my cards never come up in reverse. You guys continue to know that that season of your life is over. You can now see clearly. These individuals do not want to give you an equal give and take. Okay? They want to take while you give. What else? That's judgment being called on this energy. Okay? One more card and I'm going to close this out. What do the karmic masculines, huh? Moon in reverse. This is their secrets, okay? Playing with the moon, they do it at night. How they're invading your dream space. Because they feel like they don't want you to invest in this new beginning. Or they feel like they can take some form of new beginning from you. Okay, this is all going on in the dream space. That's why I say protect your energy. Okay. Yep. This is how they're feeling, Four of Cups. Like you are rejecting their offer, okay? But why would you not when they just want to offer you something and then place you here? A lot of these people you can't even connect your energy to, okay? You can't. You can't. They will knock you off of your stability. They will end up draining your finances. These people do not want to positively move forward with you. They just want you to stop the conflict because you are exposing them, okay? Again, we have a karmic um, masculine king of cups energy. Now we got a king of swords energy and a queen of wands energy. Okay, this is a couple right here. And I feel like this couple is doing work on you. Okay? Why? Why are they doing work on the collective? <laughs> because of your path in life. Because you're loved. Because you are a lover. Because you are a twin. Because you have a person. It's all about a person. It's all about a person and money. And that's weird. You will know from this message who it is that's working against you, okay? Yeah. There's nothing for these individuals to look forward when it, when it comes to coming back to you. I don't feel like you are going to interact with these karmic energies. They are codependent on your energy. They need your energy. You don't need theirs. Like I said before, these individuals are, have not changed, okay? They have not healed. They are not balanced. And this is love bombing, gaslighting, manipulation of your, your heart space. They got to come in somehow, right? Telling you all the things you want to hear? No. I said I saw the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay? What they want to do is stop anything that you have moving or going, going toward or coming toward you. They want to completely stop it. If you connect your energy to these karmic masculine energies, all they are going to do is drain the life force from you, suck from you, attach to you, take what they can get, and dip up out your energy. Spirit says, do not interact, okay? These people are very unhappy that they didn't get what they wanted when they made these deals, when they did these rituals, okay, had sacrifices, but you're not confused, or you shouldn't be confused anymore, all right? These people that work together, these dark high priestesses with these individuals, with these karmic masculines, okay? They're mad at each other. These, these men, okay, that pay these witches or dark high priestesses are wanting their money back. <laughs> They're wanting their money back. They're like, nah, that can't happen. Sorry. You paid for it. Judgment. Again, I said before, these, these witches, they know that they can't touch these these divine beings. So what, they're still going to take people's money, though. That's the thing. They're still going to take people's money. But they're not doing the work because they know better. All right, let's close this out. Quick message. This was for what the karmic masculines are doing in your energy. 
Seven of Swords. And that's what you needed to know. Okay? That's it. And that's what I got today for the karmic masculine energy. Why they're in your energy. Why you feel this energy. All spirit wants you to know is if you entertain it. Okay. For the other side, for the karmic masculines, it is it's a failed attempt yet again. Okay? That's it. Yeah, you chose the right path. You chose the right path. You released all negativity. I mean, I can't make this up. Look at They're trying to weaken you. They know that you are guarded. You are defensive, right? So they're trying to weaken your defenses. Spirit says not happening. All right, you chose the path of love. You chose the path of healing. Once you choose that, you cannot go back. You are intuitive. You are tapped in. You are in the upright. You are a divine feminine, okay? You have let go of all karmic connections. You know, addictions, attachments. And this individual was a karmic masculine to you. You released that, okay? You released that. You saw there was no love here. That this was not a divine connection. These people are dark. They have dark practices, okay? Yep. And you've also seen that clearly, okay? That's what I got. The magician with the hierophant. That's a dark occult. A dark coven, a dark group of men, whatever. No, no, no. All right, so that's what I got for the why the karmic masculine during your energy. All right, have a good one.